G'day guys, it is Ben here from Hunt the Knife. Now, what we're going to do today is have a quick look at the brand new revised edition infrared refreshed binder FH35V2. Now, I made a little bit of a refresh, revised, blah, 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 because if you are looking at these side by side, the new one, the version two and the version one, there's not a lot of difference, okay? They've kept a lot of stuff the same, and this is what you wanna see in a version two device. You wanna see subtle changes, not wholesale, you know, takes a different battery system and looks totally different and call it a version two. This is actually what they've taken, the feedback of the version one, which is by far our best-selling thermal monocular we've ever had, and improved it and given you version two, okay? And at this point in time, the same price as the uh, the old one, which is really good too. So what they've done is still 640 by 512 sensor, they, but now it's a 20, 20 millikelvin sensor. And I'm gonna throw footage up side by side of just again out, outside of our shop, and you'll see the subtle differences in the image quality. Um, it balances contrast so much better. It, um, it shows you detail, especially in the road where things have been driving around, and the power pole lines are nice and sharp. There's almost reflective off the side of vehicles. You know, it is really, really crisp and beautiful, natural feeling image all at one. Um, you know, it's not an overly digital image. Um, so the image alone is really good, but they've also done a couple of things on the outside just to help improve the product a little bit as well, okay? Um, well, the only thing they've really, really done is this. They have improved the lens cap system. The old lens cap had this little O-ring system in here to hold it closed and, oh man, it wasn't really friendly to fix, repair, and replace. Uh, but now they've got a little magnet there. Lovely. Absolutely fantastic. Just closes, lens cap gets out of the way. Um, this, I, I reckon, is still going to be our favourite remote mounted unit. Oh, actually, we've got a new sticker as well. It's got a little red line on it. It says V2. They're the only external changes. Um, we've still got a HDMI as well as our charging port here. You know, the HDMI out is has been something that's been a real winner for this, connecting up to a screen and keeping that high definition. Our diopter is the same and our focus is the same. Okay. There's so many things that this unit is the same. Same functionality, the menu button does the same thing. You know, the range finder does the same thing. The record and take picture all does the same stuff. And that's what you want to see. But the tweaks in the menu um, is really only one. When you go into the menu to change the image, which is on, on the second page, I'm not talking about color palettes, I'm talking about brightness and contrast. It gives you better brightness and contrast control over the version one where it was kind of brightness and kind of sharpness. Now it kind of ditches that and gives you much better brightness and contrast. So you can balance out the, the picture better, better. Color palettes are the same. Everything else is the same in this device, which is what you want, but you get a really nice kick in the picture upgrade. Um, yeah, I, I love it. I, I, this will still be, no doubt, our best-selling thermal uh, monocular. You know, it's so good, especially you know, in Australia. If you're watching this overseas and you don't want it may know what I mean by remote mounting, um, we put Picatinny rails on this and attach them to spotlight handles. And instead of using a spotlight, because we do a lot of driving around and shooting, um, you know, this is this has been the best unit for that by far. Anyway, guys, that is my first impressions of the Infrared Finder V2. Uh, absolutely love it. I love that Infra have listened to the feedback and made the changes they need to. Anyway, there it is, guys. Enjoy it. Available and now at huntthenight.com.au.